So Lil Yachty just bought a pontoon boat, which he calls Lil Yachty. And he wants to add a third pontoon for more stability and speed. And of course, you know, more capacity on the tune. He uh, recently bought a welder and has decided to fabricate it himself. He's quite the handy dude, if you didn't know that. Maybe look that up on the Googles. All right, how many square feet of aluminum should he buy to fabricate the 20 fabricate the 25 foot long, 26 inch diameter pontoon? Holy cow! We have two different units. Ah! I'm definitely gonna need to be busting out my calculator for this. It's gonna get messy, but we can handle it. I believe in you. Okay, let's do this stuff. All right. So I've got. Uh, 25 feet, right? Okay. Well, let's think here. How many inches is that? So that 25 feet times 12 would be uh, 300. So I'm going to put 300 inches below that in green. And then the diameter, Let's. I'm just going to do this, even though it's not a perfect circle right here. But that's 26 inches, right? And 26 inches in feet, if I were to divide that by 12, uh, I would get 2.16, and that 6 is repeating. So you'll see like 2.167 or 2.17 or 2.2, but I am going to do that for now because I know that it's exact. I like to wait till the end to round, personally. You know, hashtag Yoro. You only round once. That's what that means right there, children. Yoro. You only round once. And it keeps it more accurate. We'll round at the end. But then again, there's going to be some estimations that happen here, especially in our class. Okay. So I can work with feet. I can work with inches. Either way is fine. But at the end, might have to make some changes. Well, let's see here. Um, how many square feet of aluminum should he buy to fabricate? If I need to get square feet of aluminum... Why don't I just work in feet? That makes sense to me. Okay, so this basically is a cylinder here, right? I mean, except for this uh, the tip here of the pontoon. It like kind of folds in. But I'd be willing to bet you guys that uh, all they did is this is another sheet. If you kind of see these welds here and here, right? You see those welds? Now, what's probably happening is this is one... This section here is one sheet of, of aluminum, and they just, when they started folding it around, they brought it to a point rather than making it into a cylinder. Maybe they cut off a portion of it, they crimped it and welded it right there, making it so it cuts through the water nicely. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go ahead and figure 25 feet lateral area of a cylinder, and then right back there, I got a little circle on the back that caps it off so it doesn't fill up with water. So we got to consider that as well. Okay, so we're going to work with the feet here, 20 or 2.16 repeating feet. Well, let's get to work. I know the uh, lateral area of a cylinder, right, because that's what this tube is. We've got that formula. We saw it with the soup can. We know what the heck to do. Um, well, my circumference of this thing is... 2 pi times my radius, that 2.16 repeating. And I'm going to keep it that way in my calculator. I've already got it in there, the 2.16666667. Um, I just did 26 divided by 12, and I've got it in there. We'll talk about working with our calculators in class. So that guy right there times my height of 25 feet. So that's going to equal... 340.339, and there's a few more afterwards. And then I've also got my circle, don't forget. That circle on the back, well, that's pi r squared, right? So uh, let's see here. Pi times my radius, that 2.16 repeating squared. That's going to equal 14 point seven four eight dot 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 you know, it goes on forever so if I were to add those two together I'm gonna get myself a final answer approximately three hundred fifty five yeah we'll go with that because it's point zero eight seven 
So let's say 355 feet squared. And I'll tell you what, I'm probably going to over order on this one just in case. You know, so we'll factor that in later. But we're talking about 355 feet squared, pretty darn close on the nose there. And we might end up wanting to order 360, 370, who knows. All right, but uh, just for the tube itself, none of the other pieces that we see there, those mounts and whatnot, we're just talking tube here, um, 355 feet squared. There are other ways to do it. If we were working with our inches here, I could do it with that as well, actually. But that's a whole nother beast. Um, and we'll talk about working with inches and converting and stuff like that. We're talking inches to feet and then in area. That's something else. Well, looky what we have here, children. It's Miss Kish's gazebo. All right. Well, this time we're tasked with figuring out how much roofing we need to buy. Okay, the shingles. All right, the stuff that goes on the roof. Well, if you remember back to the last time, this right here was six feet. We're going to go with that being about six feet as well, okay? So that roof line right there, right there that's going to be about six feet. Now, hmm, what do we see going on here? Look, that was this was an octagon, right? And it comes to a point, you know, it's not necessarily perfect uh, because it's got this little doohickey up top. Uh, but it, it's basically like an octagon base pyramid or octagonal pyramid or octagon pyramid, whatever. Um, but it's got eight sides. It's a pyramid. It's just an octagon base. So what do we have here, guys? We've got ourselves triangular sides with the pyramid, right? So if I've got triangular sides with my pyramid, I'm going to pull that off to the side here. i got a six-foot base. Now let's go ahead and say that this right here is going to be about 8 feet, okay? So we're going to say this is going to be about 8 feet. So if we want to figure out the amount of square footage for this roof here, we could do so pretty easily. And I'm going to show you with both formulas. Let's go the, I think really the intuitive route would be, I've got this triangle here, 6 times 8 is, oops, here it is. 6 times 8 divided by 2, 48 divided by 2 is 24 feet squared. How many uh, triangles do I have on this thing? I got myself 8 triangles. If I multiply that by 8, so times 8, it's going to equal 192 feet squared. Awesome. So that tells me I need that amount. So we'll say probably about 2 squares of, uh, of shingles. Right, shingles uh, roofing material is going to be sold by the square, which is 100 square feet. We might actually want to even go a little bit more than that, just in case the waste. Okay, um, but we've got the square footage there. We can go from there on the construction side of things later. This is more of the math side. Well, what if we wanted to use our fancy dancy formula of area equals one half times the apothem times the perimeter? Well, the apothem here is 8, so 1 half times 8 times my perimeter. Well, if I've got 8 sides at 6 a pop, right, 6 feet each, that's times 48. I'm going to plug this in my calculator because these numbers are getting a little cray-cray. 48, 8 and a half, all multiplied together. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious. I got myself the same answer. Woo! 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 192 feet squared. That means we got ourselves, again, about two squares of uh, roofing. We can get to it. We don't want, you know, anybody getting drenched under there during a rainstorm. We want to be able to chill, even if it's the rain in that gazebo. You know what I'm saying?